How's it going, everyone? It's your girl, Rocket Gal, and uh, looks like we got this uh, banner to react to. I kind of forgot about it, so I got a little bit spoiled in my subscription feed, so please pardon the maybe lesser reaction. So, uh, in any case, let's begin right now! Oh, they get right into it. Send it hero. Uh uh uh. Yep, this is the one on the thumbnail. Got spoiled on a little bit. That's interesting. I feel invigorated. As if I've been reborn. Another colorless infantry. Uh tome. Oh, she's got Soul of Zofia. Interesting. I don't know how good that is anymore. I mean it's not bad, but with Milla's I don't know. Strength. Cool animation. Whoa. Yeah, that's some Milla's strength, alright. Oh, who do I want from Shadows of Valentia? Who is that? Who is that? Oh, Est! Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> Uh, oh, I like her uh, pose. It's just like the uh, one from the actual game. Try Edge Lance. That's interesting. Flow Feather 3? Uh, more flyer skills. I'm like losing track of them. Uh, oh, my boy, Kamui. Nice. You won't be running into any necro dragons, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, hopefully. Oh wait, is he the demo? Actually, I'm kind of okay with that. Love my boy Kamui. Wait, that's another sword infantry in, in the mine. demo pool. That's cool. Nice. And then um, a fey person. Is that Ymir? Oh, whoa! That's some pretty art. I am Amir, dragon of life and steward of its realm. Wait, she's a dragon? Another dragon cavalry. Green this time. Uh, ever living domain. Oh, I'm kind of curious about this. Whoa! Whoa, that, that's a dragon though? It looks more like a deer thing. Cool, alright. Oh, we can see Elm is still around. Oh, oh, that was Atlas. That was Atlas. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Sh shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. I know about that. Anyways, let's check out the stuff. Okay, this is um Celica's. All right. So she has Mila's Testament. This is a colorless tome. Accelerate special trigger cooldown count minus one. All right. I figured that that as much. Uh, if unit initiates combat or within two spaces of an ally, grant attack speed plus six a unit during combat and neutralizes the effect that uh, inflicts special cooldown charge minus one on unit. Okay, so uh, guard, null guard, I guess. Uh, deals damage equal to 10% of foe's attack. Interesting. And if unit's HP is greater than 25% and foe would reduce unit's uh, HP to zero, unit survives with one HP. Oh man, another built-in miracle effect. I think um, from Harmonized Leaf, we know how powerful this ability is. Um, not sure how good it is on an infantry unit, just because um, with Leaf he can cover an entire map. But she wouldn't be too bad on a, uh, a defense team, I would think. Just because of that. So yeah, pretty interesting. Um, she comes with Moonbow, Life and Death 4, I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Uh, Soul of Zofia, uh, which is kind of like, uh, yeah, it's essentially no follow-up, right? And, um, she gets a Desperation, so no follow-up plus Desperation. Um, and then Infantry, no follow-up 3. At start of turn, grants no follow-up to Infantry allies within two spaces of unit. All right, boys, pack it up. You don't need to run no follow up in uh, your B slot. You can just put a lull or or a whatever. You can just put whatever because Celica's here to dish out the the uh, no follow ups. Man, that that's a pretty good ability. 
I don't know if it really works with Celica. I mean, I think you probably just want um, Times Pulse on her because it just, you know, Times Pulse just works on almost anyone. Um, this probably on some sort of support unit, maybe like a uh, like Brave Lucina. I can imagine that. Um, who's a good infantry support unit? I can't think of any on top of my head. Um, but yeah, that's a really cool ability, uh, skill to have, so, nice. Let's check out that tag animation again, that was pretty interesting. It was very blue, I do not associate Celica with blue stuff. With mil also, okay, so, is this supposed to be based off of her, like, is it like princess class in, uh, Giles of Valentia? I don't remember the class, but it's like the one, like, class where she, like, uh, her promotion, I think. Except this is green for some reason. I don't... I guess for, like, Alm? But, uh, it seems kind of weird. I don't know if I understand this. Anyways, back to the attack animation. The strength. Alright, so she's basically a souped-up, like, modern-day, uh, legendary Celica. So... I think she'll probably be alright. That miracle, is, I think, was really gonna make her uh, very unique. Alright, let's get to uh, Est. I mean, it was only a matter of time before Est got um, the uh, Shadows of Valentia treatment. It's always Catria, then Pala, then Est. Actually, I feel like Pala didn't even come out that long ago. Oh, but whatever. Uh, Try Edge Lance. So she gets Kanto uh, remaining plus one. So that's pretty good. Didn't Pala get Kanto plus, or uh, just Kanto 2? I don't totally remember. Um, but anyways, uh, grants attack plus 3. If unit initiates combat within 2 spaces of an ally, grants uh, plus 5 to everything. Unit deals damage equals to 20% of unit's res. Huh. And reduce damage from uh, foe's first attack by 40% during combat. Okay, just, just 40%. No stat check or anything, but... You know, Deadeye is just going to melt her, so... Um... Yeah, I guess she's going to do a lot of damage. I don't know how I feel about this unit. I guess she seems okay. Um, she seems like she's going to have a lot of res based off of her kit. Uh, Iceberg and attack res push 4. Uh, let's check out Flow Feather 3. This is a freaking paragraph. If unit initiates combat, neutralizes effects that prevent units follow up attack during combat. Okay, so have a no follow-up. And also, if unit's speed is greater than foe's speed minus 10, um, which seems pretty likely in my opinion, uh, deals damage during combat equal to 70% of difference between res stats. Um, unit's res minus foe's res and reduce damage from foe's attack by 70% of that difference. Um, okay, so two um, effects to it so she deals more damage and she um, re reduces damage uh, excludes area effect specials okay that kind of sucks minimum is zero max is seven okay so that's interesting so um, she's kind of she dishes out a lot and she also can take some hits but this seems like a really weird unit um I think she would be okay with a distant counter build, probably, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Flow Feather 3. I just don't know about like these like flying specific uh, abilities. Um, I didn't like like Dragon 1 and the Pegasus flight, I think it was called. I didn't really use that one. Um, maybe I'm just bad at <laughs> using them. I know the Maria one was... Uh, uh, Spring Maria one was pretty cool, so... But Spring Maria is just cool in general, so I don't know how good that skill is by itself. Um, but yeah. I don't really know how I feel about this unit yet. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I feel like sh she's just okay. Let's check out her attack animation. Her weapon looks like Gradivus. That's interesting. Oh, I'm ready! Alright. Um, okay, next is my boy Kamui. He used a demote, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, cool. So up front blade plus. 
up front blade, okay? At start of combat, if foe's uh, HP is greater than 75%, uh, grants attack speed plus 5 to unit and neutralizes unit's penalties to attack speed during combat. Um, yeah, not bad. Wait, isn't this the same, um, like, the sword version of, like, Valentine Owain's, uh, land? I'm pretty sure it is, I think. Or, at the very least, it's really similar. Um, so yeah, that seems like a pretty good, uh, weapon, honestly. So, um, yeah. Not much else to say. Pretty good. Uh, comes with Luna. Uh, speed, defense, ideal 3. Um, you know, the ideal skills are actually pretty okay, but I don't know about, like, one that doesn't have attack. I really want that attack one, but, um, I guess on a budget, it's really not bad. And attack defense 03, um, I guess IS just realized oath skills are really not that big of a deal, so they're just gonna give them out for free from now on. Or not for free, free, but, um, you know, in the demote pool, so that's nice, I guess. So yeah, glad that my boy is in the game. So check out that animation. I'm just in it for the money. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay, cool. So let's go to Ymir. Brings out a little bit of the Attack on Titan fan in me. Okay, so man, there's some weird names. Um, Ever Living Breath. I don't Ever Living. Is that even a word? I don't know. Uh, grants attack plus three if a rally skill or a movement assist skill Wow, so just any like skill is used by unit or target unit restores 10 HP to allies within two spaces of unit and Target after movement and then neutralizes any penalties on those allies um, Okay, so she gets like a she does like a healing thing around her allies Um so that's kind of nice, and also gets rid of penalties. So that's really freaking good. Um, okay, and then at start of combat, if unit's HP is greater than 25%, grants everything plus 5 to unit during combat, and unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. I don't know if that means she's going to be slow or something. I mean, she's got- looks like she's going to have a lot of res. Um, okay, and then she's got like the- the- um, you know, that effect where it, like, hits the lower of defense and res. So, wow, she really wants to make sure her allies don't die. But I think neutralizing the penalty, like, area effect neutralizing penalty thing is really interesting. So, yeah, not too bad. She comes with rally up plus. I think that's going to be really useful um, to help uh, trigger the ever-living uh, breath effect. Um, attack res unity. All the unity skills are pretty good, so that one's nice. Um, A, R, near trace 3. That's... Oh, man. I mean, who's this really useful on? I guess the other dragon cavalry units, um, and then dragon flying units? I guess, but... Eh, I don't know. I mean, the, the dragon flying ones, they don't have that much movement to, like, really take advantage of this. Um... And then, like, I don't know. It just seems kind of awkward. It's like very few units, I think, could really use this. Um, I guess it's nice to have. I'm not saying I'm angry or anything, but it's... I just find it kind of, like, I don't know who to give this to. I guess it's nice to put on, like, um, Muspel or Niffle, but I think they're cool the way they are, so... But it's nice to have, if you want the option. Anyways, her C ability is Ever Living Domain. Interesting. So if unit is within two spaces of an ally, uh, grants defense and res plus four and the following effect to unit and those allies during combat. Um, wait, to unit and the other allies? Okay. Um, if unit's HP is greater than 75% and foe would reduce unit's HP to zero. Oh, m what? She's just giving out miracles? I mean, it kind of makes sense, given, um, like, she's, like, the ever-living realm thing, but I don't really know what that means, but nothing dies, and so this is giving Miracle where they don't die, so it makes sense, but that seems kind of insane, because Miracle skills are pretty good, 
The only reason people don't run Miracle generally is just because it has a pretty high cooldown and you don't really want it to cover, like take over the special slot, you really want that for something else. Um, so that's why something like uh, Leaf, or not Leaf, or yeah, Harm Harmonized Leaf, um, OG Celeph with his original um, Weapon Refine, they were pretty good uh, because they don't die. At least they they can survive and then they can become a um, Wings of Mercy beacon, which is really scary. Um, yeah. Wow, just giving out miracles. They IS does not give a fuck now. They're just giving out no follow-up miracles, just whatever. Oh man. Alright, so I think this is gonna be a pretty cool unit. Um maybe a little hard to use. Um I think she might be good on a defense team. Um because I think that's where miracle skills work the best at. But I guess she could work out in um, offense as well. Not totally sure on that. Uh, anyway, let's check out her animation again. Sad music. <laughs> yeah, that is... Yeah. Look at that. I just like looking at that. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We get it. Okay, that's... Interesting. I don't know if I would call this a must summon. Okay, here's Atlas. He is in um, Axe unit, even though he can't use Axes ever, I don't think, because only Brigands really use Axes, and he doesn't turn into a Brigand class or anything, so, you know, they had to take some liberty. They made Faye a uh, bow unit, even though she can't wield bows, so, um, eh, okay, that's cool, I guess, but, uh, yeah, pretty interesting, um, banner. Ymir seems really interesting. Um, Celica is just a really good mage with a miracle skill, which seems kind of scary to me. Um, I don't have—I don't know how I feel about S yet. I guess um, I might have to do some testing with her just to see how she is. And it's great to see Kamui and Atlas finally in the game um, as like demote units. But hey, they're in the game, so that's awesome. Um, they'll be easier to merge for people. So. I can't say no to that, so that's that's great. I'm happy for the Kamui and Atlas fans out there. I see you. I see you there. Anyways, um, yeah, how do you guys feel about this banner? Um, I didn't really think we were due for a Shadows of Valentia banner, but apparently we were, so yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>